NFP presents Big Questions with Senior Vice President of Business Development, Kate McLaughlin, and Senior Vice President of Group Benefits, Beth Robertson. What are employers' responsibility in paying for COVID-19 tests? Sure. So, you know, up until last week, it was there were some questions about this, but um, the government has made this pretty easy for employers in that the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, C SFCRA, um, now requires that all plans cover this regardless of their funding arrangements. So fully insured and self-funded plans will cover testing at no cost to um, members on the plan. So can it be paid through the group health plan? Yeah, so, uh, you know, again, a few weeks ago, it was questionable how this was going to be paid. Now all the testing will be paid through the group health plan. What are the implications, if any, for self-funded plans? You know, that's a great question. So for self-funded health plans, the cost of, of coronavirus or COVID-19 is really unknown. So the testing is, you know, expected to be pretty minimal on what those costs might be. But as far as the actual treatment, um, for someone who's in a, a low risk category, maybe someone who's younger, relatively healthy, you know, they should be able to do, you know, get through this by self quarantine and maybe some, some rest and, you know, some, some lower cost drugs. But when you get into somebody who's in a high risk category, the cost could be substantial for the health plan. You know, um, ICU costs range anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a day. So you're talking about a 20 day stay could easily run $300,000. So the federal government recently stepped in and said that the test for COVID-19 will be paid for. Can you weigh in on this? Right. Sure. So, you know, again, originally this was the testing was going to be covered and it was questionable on where the testing could be done. Um, the government has now said that testing can be done anywhere and anywhere that it's done, whether it be in urgent care or a testing facility or the emergency room will be covered at 100% no cost share to the member, um, you know, certainly it, I expect that we're going to see a lot more testing done in the, in the near term. I don't think that the testing itself is going to be abnormally burdensome on the plan, but I do think, as I said, you know, that if someone's diagnosed, we may have the unknown of what that cost might be. Uh, earlier this month, the IRS released notice 2020-15, making it clear that high deductible health plan participants who received the COVID testing or treatment without cost share would not lose eligibility. Um, can you contextualize it into layman's terms exactly what this means sure. for health plans? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So the IRS prior to the, the release of this latest notice in March really said that the only thing that could be covered with no cost share for members to have the plan HSA qualify was preventive care. So think about your well checks, your cancer screenings, things of that nature. And if, if the, anything else, doctor visits, diagnostic testing, even things that were for folks who had a chronic illness like diabetes, there had to be some cost share. And if the plan didn't have cost share or just the deductible hitting first, then the IRS says that the HSA contributions are not eligible for pre-tax. What happened in early March is the IRS came out and said, look, we're also going to expand the you know, preventive testing, if you will, to include COVID-19 testing. So in the event that someone does go for testing and there's no cost share, it's not going to change the tax favorability of the plan under the IRS guidelines. This is great news for anybody with an HSA. So there has been a lot of information circulated out there about the testing of COVID-19, specifically to the cost. We've seen ranges from $50 to $1,000. Can you shed light as to the cost and how that's, how that's, impl how that's implemented within the plan? Um, you know, I don't, I haven't seen any claims passed yet or claims come through yet for the testing on COVID-19. From what I've been hearing, the speculation is that it's going to be under $500 not going to be in those $1,200 ranges. I think sometimes where we see those higher costs are related to where the test is being done. If it's in the emergency room, the cost would be higher than if it were done in the doctor's office or in any of these drive through testing sites. So we don't have exact testing costs yet because the health insurers are still putting together all of these claims and we're starting to see them come through. But from what we're learning, um, it doesn't look like the tests are going to be as, as, as costly as we once thought. Great. Well, Beth, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it.
Please remember to visit www.nfp.com for all of the latest updates and insights.